guys welcome back to my channel today i'm going to show you how to install food lighting into a nissan qashqai this is the kit that i have it comes with the socket which i already removed i only left the wire uh, these are the leds as you can see they're waterproof because they are encapsulated in some sort of um, casing which is completely sealed because i don't want to have the dimming issue with the RGB LEDs I already cut the red and the green wires for every single LED as you can see I have some insulation here and I only have the blue and the black the black is basically the positive so these are only going to turn blue this specific model is 2018 it has this facelift just like this there is no foot lighting at the back or the front I don't see anything so I'm assuming that I'm gonna make my connection to this LED here right here this is what I'm planning to do and these are going to stay on while you are driving if you connect them to these these are gonna turn off every time you close the door I've shown this in my previous videos. Uh, this kit has longer wires for the back, shorter wires for the front. So these are going to go in the front, these are going in the back. For the driver's side, it's super easy. Don't even bother using the double sided tape. All you have to drill two holes, use some zap straps, attach it right in the middle. There is no, no airbag here in this area. So. There's nothing behind this plastic, so you're super safe to drill two holes and uh, install it right there. The other one in the front i'm gonna try to pass it to the other side on the front passenger side without blocking any vents by the way either by removing the panels or either by going all the way in the back here this is probably the easiest <laughs> install ever i don't have to remove any panels i simply run this all the way in the back there came right out that's awesome yeah I'm probably just pull clips usually Japanese cars have clips take this down there you go and now I'm gonna drill some holes attach it to this and it's done super easy so on the front passenger I found this spot I'm gonna drill some holes and just a plastic panel I'll leave some extra wire here just in case you ever have to remove this panel, which most likely you don't, but just to be safe. Now I have to get to this panel, which has some clips. It pulled this out. Yes. So here's the trick. Once you open this up a little bit, get a long screwdriver and remove remove that screw over there see it now yeah, remove that screw okay I disconnected the wire but it's a bit too short so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna remove just these two sides first and then I'm going to remove these clips like this I can lift this up I'm gonna do the same on the other side So you have to take this wire off and plug it, take it off, lift this up a bit. With your screwdriver, get access to the second screw, which is right here. This was the first one, this is the second one. And as soon as I released the second one, the panel came off. Okay, so Nissan is funny. 
red is actually negative and purple is positive. Next I pull this panel out. I'm gonna hide all my wires in here. Stall it back in place. You're not gonna see any wires. This one's gonna be tucked underneath. Secure the existing wiring. I have my plug here which is going to get connected to that red LED. Get all these wires all the way in the back. This is a different wire, it's not part of this installation. This is part of the mirror DVR, which I'm going to install next. Let's check the lights. This is the driver's side. This is the front passenger side, all installed, you're not seeing any LEDs, unless you are underneath here, which is impossible. You only see the beam light, it's really cool. This is all I can do here, it's not the best scenario, I have this um, mat and um, it's pretty solid, it has some sort of the backing, solid backing, so I was able to attach some zap straps to it. I'm gonna get another zap strap just to keep the way away from the feet. I'm gonna leave a loop here, uh, just long enough for the seat to be adjusted front and back. So if you want to have this to turn off while you're driving, you have to connect it to these lights. Otherwise, because they are connected to these lights, they're going to stay on while driving too.
I look pretty good. Again, this is not the wire from this install. This is from this uh, mirror DVR, which is not fully installed yet. But yeah, this is how they look.